crypto anub let's go everyone i know you have this question anub what happened to your bullish scenario which we talked on a video yesterday the weekly the monthly which was clearly indicating the upcoming months the upcoming year for bitcoin could be slowly turning bullish and if you look at the price action right now the price of bitcoin is hovering around 25,000 range so what is going to happen next and what led to this bigger sale off in price action of bitcoin or crypto market in general we know guys u.s securities and exchange commission sec files 13 charges against binance entities and founder sheng peng zhao she said charge includes operating unregistered exchanges broker dealers and clearing agencies misrepresenting trading controls and oversight on the binance us platform and the unregistered offer and sale of securities yes guys this news definitely shook the market because binance is definitely one of the biggest exchange in crypto but if you still look at this in a bit different way i mean if we still look at this you know weekly time frame guys we are still holding the support from this 30 week exponential moving average and also the support from this horizontal trend line yes in the past price action this horizontal trend line was definitely a very important line of resistance this is exactly where we came and this is also the exact area where this 30 week exponential moving average is lying around so if the price in a bigger frame does remains above 25,000 the last line of support which we have right if we do remain above this 25,000 then it could be still looked as a retest retest from this inverse head and shoulder formation right retest from this inverse head and shoulder formation retest from this 30 week exponential moving average just like here before starting this impulsiveness because we know even after this bearish news which shook the market if price of bitcoin remains over 25000 then we know the strength is still there i mean the price of bitcoin could still show some range bound and also continue this uptrend because if you look at this in a daily time frame using this different scenario a retest around this previous temporary race line is not a bad sign guys because if you look at this example here after breaking out from this falling trend line the price started showing impulsiveness this breakout turned out to be a fake out where the price came back to retest the previous line yes this previous temporary race line in this example got retested right before price started showing this impulsiveness before price broke the previous high and in our case if you look at this example exact scenario is being flashed yes the price broke out from this key line of resistance we even came back to retest it just like as shown here in the example and after this impulsiveness we broke the previous high and had this new higher highs now if this here is going to be a continuation pattern just like as shown in example after this bullish breakout the price came back to test the previous breakout area and started this new impulsive movement like this so in our case after breaking out from this previous high this here could be a retest retest from this previous temporary waistline line before slowly right starting this new impulsive movement like this so that's why guys as long as the price in a bigger frame price in a daily remains above twenty five thousand, please do not panic because the price of bitcoin is still above one of the most important resistance line which is 25000 even if we look at this in a daily time frame yesterday when we were talking about this falling wage actually the falling wage could be looked like this i mean the price has already broken one of the most important support line right and now this smaller relief rally could be a retest before price chooses a trend duration if it does manage to enter inside this falling wage is this considered bullish and this will be looked as a fake out but if we do get rejected around the previous temporary support line i mean this trend line which was considered as one of the most important line of support since we are below it could be acting as a line of resistance so that's why we have to be careful around twenty six thousand because this twenty six thousand is going to be a strong line of resistance but what we also know parallelly the price of bitcoin is following this 
CPR indicator scenario i mean the central pivot range indicator scenario which was already flashing us a warning sign and that's why i have been saying you this is a leading indicator and this cpi indicator gives us information beforehand when the price of bitcoin was in an uptrend the cpi indicator always formed higher highs higher lows continuation pattern type of scenario and also formed an ascending cpr this month the month of june we formed a descending cpr descending cpr only gets formed when the trend is weakening but we found out parallelly the price of bitcoin was holding this twenty-seven thousand support line so what could be playing out here price trying to break out from this cpr line before slowly right range bounding and also starting this new impulsive movement making this june month an exception just like what we had back in october month i showed you in my video right this year you can see ascending cpr beside this october 2020 and after that we had this new impulsive movement so we were expecting some sort of a similar move like 2020 october month but in our case you can see the price fail to break the resistance around 28,000, and now this price pullback came exactly at the target from this s1 line yes guys from this cpi line this red line was the s1 line which we talked on first of june in my video this lower line around 25,400 will be looked as our first target and this is exactly where we came if you look at this price structure this is exactly where we got attracted and now the price is showing a relief rally so what i want you guys to understand here even though the price of bitcoin right now might be showing some sort of a relief rally please be careful this relief rally could be getting attracted towards the 26,000, right the previous temporary support line but if we feel to flip that into support in a media short term then please be careful this here would be just a fake out and price coming back to find support at this s1 line around 25,400, right and could go even lower because the worst case target for this month of june let me add all of this right s2 s3 these are the target for the month of june now the next target is sitting around 23,500 for the month of june and the worst case scenario for the month of june is around 21,320. so according to this leading indicator these are the target for the upcoming days if the price of bitcoin breaks a support around 25,000 range yes guys s1 s2 s3 line let me show you here right 25,400 s1 line s2 line $23,596 and s3 line around $21,365 so these are the line which is going to be looked as our upcoming target if the price of bitcoin fails to hold the 25,000 support range and now even if we look at this Bollinger band yesterday when we found out the price of bitcoin was about to explode we were expecting some sort of explosion here to the upside breaking the upper band around 28,000 and slowly starting this new impulsive movement but unfortunately after the sec news this news sec filed 13 charges against binance right we witnessed this sell-off and this sell-off led to a break here to the downside i mean price breaking the lower band breaking the lower band is usually considered bearish so that's why please be careful if the price in the media short term fails to break out from this falling trend line which is going to be around twenty six thousand. please be careful because that could lead to another pullback price coming back to test the support from the cpi line one more time around twenty five thousand before deciding the trend duration because we know this bollinger band squeeze unfortunately has broken here to the downside so if this here is just a fake out price showing another continuation like this then we also need the price of bitcoin to clearly come across twenty seven thousand to remain bullish and not just only this guys even right if you look at this in a simple way the broadening bottom the price has clearly broken the support line i showed you just now with this example this falling turn line right this lower turn line was a very important line of support unfortunately we are below it so this exact line could be attracting the price but we want to see whether the price finds support above the 26,000 or not because failing to find support above 26,000 means 
this here will be looked as a retest before price again starts showing a continuation like this so please guys please be careful like. and if you look at this using the vpvr i talked about this yesterday volume profile visible range vpvr is typically used for volume trading which is generally most effective when trading large cap crypto asset and i talked about this yesterday where i showed you this poc point of control this point of control is very important line because this is the area where most trading happen around 27,000, 27,500 range. That's why this orange line can be used as an important retest point or to calculate potential support and resistance. And I even showed you in the past price section when the price was above it, this line acted as a line of support. But when the price of Bitcoin was below it, this exact line acted as a resistance. And now, if the price in the upcoming days does want to show any sort of a bullishness, then first, we have to break this 26,000 resistance and even break the resistance around 28,000 to continue this uptrend here in this manner because remaining below 26,000 in the media short term could be signaling weakness, could be also signaling another retest around 25,000 before price decides the trend direction. So this were some of the quick update that I wanted to share with you in today's video. If you enjoyed my work, then please guys destroy that like button. And for those individuals watching this for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Now, by saying this, I'm signing out. My name is Anub. Bye-bye.